There are various reasons for people to play sports. Some do it from time to time for fun, and others are so passionate about it that even in times of war they remain eager to preserve it. A good example is Syrian national rugby team. Although it's an English game, rugby is a prominent sport around the globe. Yet one will not think that a Middle Eastern war-torn country like Syria is a place where such sport is still played. We went down to a cafe in Damascus where team members usually meet to watch matches, discuss tactics and make their plans. The team's coach spoke to us about their sport. We started to play rugby in 2004 and uh, get to uh, the Syrians getting wider once we just has, uh, have the chance to, and the promotion to be in the uh, Tishreen Stadium, one of the most biggest stadiums in Damascus. And then and that day we were like about 11 players and after six months we just started to have a good practice there. We got like 60 players playing and major of them Syrians. We also had the chance to speak with Ahmad, one of the team's active players. Rugby is really special since it's a demanding sport. Uh, you feel the challenge between you and yourself uh, since there's always uh, challenges and uh, you always need to be at your fullest. So you would have to use your vision, your mind uh, to be at the peak of your uh, physical abilities all the time. Well, as a national team, uh, we'll be representing our beloved country in India and Al Ain in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, and of course, thanks to uh, Sham Wings, uh, our dream has finally come true. Participating in this tournament is a very important issue for this team. They are aiming for a win, not just taking part. And they are insisting to show the world that Syria is still alive and its people are still interested in sports. Here in Al Fayha Stadium in Damascus, the preparations are ending for the upcoming tournaments in India and UAE. This is the place where team members come and practice this sport despite that this is a soccer court. We're here today for the final stages of our, of our uh, practices for the tournament in India in the uh, city of Chennai. Uh, hopefully we're going to do our best to uh, give and make uh, excellent results. And, uh, I'm so proud we, we, uh, we finally came to the national Syrian team and I uh, hope, hope we're going to win it all. Actually we came here to Al Fayha Stadium to uh, complete our uh, preparation for uh, the Asian Rugby Tournament and uh, as you see the, the team have a great spirit and great motivation to go to this tournament and do all the best. The team will fly to Chennai in India on Thursday and they couldn't be more excited. With their outstanding energy, Syrian national rugby team will carry a message to the world that their country is still rich with talents and passionate youth. Asir Khattab, MEC, Damascus.